Hey guys, what is up? It is no help, and today we're going to be doing one hour of the mother load mine. The mother load mine is pretty much the most popular method of training mining in old school RuneScape. It's very popular because it's very similar to how Ivy was back in the day. Um, if you remember chopping Ivy with woodcutting, mother load mine is very similar to this, but it is less AFK than Ivy, but you actually make money out of it, unlike Ivy. Um, mother load mine is available at level 30 mining. But I would highly recommend you get maybe 50 before you start it. Um, you could start it at level 30. It might be a good way to get your first little bit of nuggets to unlock the upper floor, which I'll talk about afterwards. But uh, the higher mining level you have, the better ores you get and the more money you will make, as well as obviously the most experience you will get. So starting at level 30 mining, you will get coal and golden nuggets. At level 40, you can get gold ore and 55 mithril. 70 adamant and 85 you can get runite and once you hit 85 you can start to make pretty decent money here first i'm going to show you how to get there and um, what to bring and then i will go over the rewards okay so start off by teleporting to falador once you're in falador run east all the way east pretty much It's also, um, you can use like a skills necklace to get here, but uh, this is how to get here from scratch pretty much. So just keep running east, passing the um, Faldor party room. And then climb down the stairs at the last building here. A little, um, Thing on the map is the cave to actually get to the mother load mine. So just enter the cave. All right, so we are actually at the mother load mine now. So all you have to do is use a pickaxe, and if you do not have a pickaxe on you, you can go to a mother load mine world, and someone will mine these out for you. So basically, I'll show you the map. So this is the whole mother load mine. Very simple, honestly. Um, when you first start off, until level 72 and until you upgrade the floor, you're going to have to go on the outskirts here and mine all of the ores on the outskirts here. But once you hit 72, you can kind of just stick up to the upper level here, which makes it a lot easier and a lot more AFK. So yeah, just get through these, um, either hopping to a mother load mine world or mining them yourself. And now we are here. I'll show you what is here to start off. So in the center here, there is a bank, there is a deposit box, and there is a guy named Prospector Percy. Basically, you can trade him and spend your golden nuggets here. You can get a Prospector outfit, which is really good because it provides a 2.5% experience bonus when mining. And mining is one of the hardest and slowest skills in the game, so it's very worth getting that. Um, you can get a coal bag, which is awesome for doing blast furnace, and you can get a gem bag, which holds gems, which is great for while you're slaying or even mining. If you have a lot of extra, you can buy soft clay packs for Iron Man to make house tabs or any tabs, and you can also buy bags of gems here with you. If you do 99 mining here, you'll have a ton of uh, golden nuggets, and you can make a decent a little profit off of the gems, but I wouldn't recommend doing this until you have bought everything else. So if you speak to him and ask if there's anything else you can unlock, you can unlock the upper level for 100 nuggets and you can up upgrade your sack to hold more, which I will explain later for 200 nuggets. I do not have the 200 nuggets yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that once I achieve the 200 nuggets, but I'll explain what that is right now. Things you need to know before you start mining is that this is a hopper and you deposit all of your pay dirt ore that you get from the mother load into here and it will travel through the water system into the sack where it gets refined, I guess, and then you get your actual ore out of it. And sometimes this gets stuck, and if this ever gets stuck, all you have to do is grab a hammer from this crate. And right here on Runelight, you can actually see, you can hammer this wheel and it will basically fix the flow of the water. So if that ever happens, 
um, basically all you have to do is do that. It's very simple. You'll get a little bit of smithing XP in the process of doing so, and then they should flow smoothly. But you really most of the time don't have to do this, but if you ever need to, just do it that way. All right, so here's an example. The water stopped. All I have to do is hammer this, and this guy's ore is stuck here. When he deposits it, it's stuck here. And once I do this, I'll gain some smithing experience and it will flow again. So this is what I'm going to be taking today. I'm going to have nothing in my inventory. I'm going to deposit my room pouch, obviously. And I have full graceful equipped. Not that I need it too much because I have the top floor unlocked, which doesn't mean there's that much running involved. I wish I had a dragon pickaxe to bring. If you do, bring that. And you can bring an amulet of glory that's charged. It has a chance of giving you more gems. But the gems actually kind of slow you down a little bit because you could just get more pay dirt. It's up to you if you want to bring that or not. But uh, if you do have the Prospector outfit, bring that. It is much better than just a regular this setup because there's not much running involved. But that's what I'm going to be wearing today. So when you're ready um, to mine the pay dirt, just climb up the ladder. And like I said, it's very similar to how Ivy was. So wherever there is a mining spot, just click it and you will start to AFK. So yeah, as you can see, you're starting to gain a little bit of mining XP, it's great. But uh, whenever this deplates, you're going to have to move to the next one. So that's why the upper floor is so good to get because there's so many in such a short area here that you pretty much can AFK this all of the time. And uh, I'm going to show you one more thing. There is a mother load mine rune light plugin and basically this just helps you out. It'll show you like stats, like the ore that you've collected, the amount of pay dirt you get per hour, how much deposits you have, and stuff like that is very good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mine myself a full inventory now and show you how depositing it and the reward system works. All right, so just a few moments later, our inventory is full, so we're gonna go ahead and climb down the ladder. Once down, deposit your pay dirt into the hopper. And as you can see, it will start to flow down the stream if this thing is up and running. If not, you can go ahead and fix it. And we get a pretty decent mining drop there, almost 500 XP. So go up to the sack and search it. And as you can see, we get tons of ore, we get um, golden nuggets and stuff like that. So. This sack, when you first get it, it can hold up to 81 of the ores. If you get the upgraded sack, it holds 162 pay dirts, and this can mean just basically more AFK. So yeah, it's really not too bad. And then there is the bank deposit box, or you could just use the actual regular bank. But uh, basically you can do three trips with the first sack. That's the only one I have, so I'll be using the first sack in this video today. And you can mine three inventories of pay dirt, put them in here, and then collect them all at once and get the um, all the ores basically at once. You'll have to like go to the bank deposit box, come back, back, back. But yeah, it's very simple and very good. Decent mining experience as well. So yeah, what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually reboot my, my um, rune light plugin so that all these stats reset so that we can keep track of all the ores that we get in the hour for you guys so we can see how much money we make. Also, we can see how many golden nuggets that we get this way as well. And I'm also going to be resetting my experience when I open the client up again. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so as you can see, pay dirt in the sack zero. Everything up there is reset. And as well as our experience tracker is completely reset. So we're going to go ahead and do this for a full hour today. See how much XP and how much money and profit we can get out of this. Timer starts now. This fucking asshole, man. I keep thinking I've gotten the bet, and then I'm like, oh, fuck. All right, boys. We got 45 seconds left on the timer. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this inventory here. All right, so that is the final collection. Not looking too bad. 14 nuggets. We got all um, a couple of gems. Let's check how much XP we gained. 40.8k, so 41k, and I kind of AFK'd it a little bit, but uh, 40k an hour is better than runecrafting. Alright, so we match now what we actually mined in the hour, including even the gems. We got a total of 5 gems, 14 nuggets, and all of the this resources. So, 14 an hour is not too bad. Um, I don't know um, 
take you a few hours anyways, probably about six to eight hours to get the full set of Prospector, and a couple hours to get the um, upper floor, and probably three to four hours to get the up the larger sack, so maybe about six hours to get that, but uh, not too bad anyways. Just let's go ahead and see how much money we have made. Alright, so a total of 193k an hour. Definitely the price of ores have gone down. Maybe I got unlucky with the rune, because the rune's where you make the bulk of the money. I know gold ore has went down a lot, and even adamant ore has gone down quite a bit too, but uh, the most profitable thing here is adamant ore, coming in at 84k. And the runeite is only 4 of those ores, and we made 45k, so... Yeah, about 200k GP an hour, pretty AFK, and for 40k mining XP, pretty excited to do this to 99 mining, honestly. It's, uh, chill, it's better than doing, uh, blood rune crafting, not money-wise, but more AFK anyways. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a thumbs up, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.